Welcome back to the vlog, guys. Emster. I wanted to just go ahead and start off with letting y'all know that I'm probably gonna be doing the grocery haul and arms and legs vlog this time. So it's gonna be a mass amount of just a huge vlog. Um, I'll probably do the grocery haul separate, but for this vlog, I'll probably be either probably a combination of leg day and arms and shoulders day. So getting started with the fit, I'll be wearing Iron Will, but for right now, this is what. This is what I'm wearing right now, this is Curves of Combat Boots. This is their latest sweatwear, or their like cloudwear. Also wearing sweatpants that matches with it. Um, this was gonna be released this Friday, so that'd be February 2nd or 1st. I believe it's the 2nd um, of this week. So you guys can use code MSTER for that as well for a discount. Um, these are absolutely amazing. I've been living in this the past like three days, and I'm absolutely in love with it. So please use my code if you guys want any discounts with that. Um, and yeah, so moving forward with that, um, I will be wearing mostly Iron Willed for my attire today, but also um, some Amazon as well, just to kind of show you guys like what I get online and what I actually wear. Also, my fingers are a little weird because I lost a nail and then I lost this one. I'm gonna get it fixed today. So let me show you the fit. So first things first, this is the hat that I was talking about. Amazing, I love it, super cute. And then I'll be wearing my Alphalete shorts as well, which are inside out. And this is the Iron Willed Sports Bra, which is my go-to. And then I'm going to be wearing the flannel with that, which I'm in love with these flannels. They're super thick and cozy, especially since it's like cold outside. And then the Iron Willed socks, which are awesome. And then I'll also be wearing just some old Nike sweatpants, which I've had for years. So I'll be doing that with some Nikes as well for shoes. And then I'm gonna make some breakfast because I'm starving. I'm doing a grocery haul like, like I mentioned in the beginning this week or next week. But I'll keep on the loop with that. I might I have to go to the store today anyway. I have to go to the store today anyway. Excuse me. Um, so I might as well just vlog that and then film that and edit it. But I probably won't release it until next week just to cover that next week's vlog. Hello, you wanna say hi? To make your food? Let me see if I will say hi. Say hi. Riley's been doing so good today. Riley has um, a mega esophagus, so she has this up right when she eats, and which just means she's prone to getting food stuck in her esophagus and she throws up a lot. So, and which just caused her to get pneumonia, and like, which is not good for her. But she's a special kind of dog, and she's been doing really good lately. So, I'm very very proud of her. But you're doing good, aren't we? Yeah. You ready to get it? Ready to get some foods? And then we just eat big straight. Alright, well, you since you ate, I'm gonna eat now, okay? <laughs> okay. I showed you all the bread when I had a mic on. Like, I could just be like, hey, this is the bread. Whatever. But typically, this is what I do. This is my, like, go-to breakfast. I'll do this. Like, kind of, not scrambled eggs, but, like, 
whatever works honestly i'm not picky um this is my eggs just one bed um i'll do this with some pepper and i'll do just normal like butter with bread and then that'll be like i'm really basic with some cheese i've recently been on like a provolone thing so but lately all i have because i have to go to the grocery store anyway is like i have like some next i don't even know what i have like some shredded cheese in here i'll do that with this and then i'll just this is what i have like two loaves of bread or no four loaves of bread and then two eggs some cheese and that's what starts the morning for me i don't really eat too much just because i don't want to be all bloated in the gym but i do want some fuel um but that kind of gets me going I'm getting ready to get some fuel for the day and that's pretty much my breakfast nothing crazy um after i eat this i'm gonna hit my pre-workout and then we're on the road and that's it guys Okay, quick change of plan. I decided to go with jelly and toast. So I got my two eggs, two normal pieces of bread with this, and then with um, butter toast with like jelly. So it's kind of been the latest fix with the jelly. I don't know what my deals with that. I just like, it just makes sense. I don't, we are done with the meal. This is what we're gonna do, come here. Just got a little bit left, nothing crazy. Yep, because she might be a big girl. Use of the world. I don't care what they say about you. No one says anything about her. You're a sweet angel. There you go. Okay, so next is our vitamins per usual. I have my vitamin C right here I'm gonna take. Hello, focus, there we go. And then I'm gonna take my, what is this? It's my gummy. It's my collagen, which help my hair grow. Excuse me, there we go. A lot, my fish oil, my multivitamin, my Allegra for, Allegra. My allergy medicine, allergy tech, and then my D3, it's all in here. I'm gonna take that first. My collagen, and then, so, I'm going to stick with my mouth chewing, okay? I'm not trying to be rude. Um, this is my cabinet for all my protein and all my stuff. But I just recently got, excuse me, recently got vanilla. I'm excited to try this later. Which I haven't seen it open yet. Um, from Bucked Up, if you want a code for that, it's Emster97. Um, I have a lot of... A lot of pre-workout from them, if you can't tell. They're definitely my go-to. And I also do that for creatine as well, which I'll be putting in my, excuse me, I'll be putting in my cup today. So I'll be doing my creatine. What is this? Oh, this electrolytes. I'll probably do that later. Also, wanted to say shout out to Sour Strips for giving me like a whole package of like all of this. So there's, there's a lot more, I eat the rest of it. So. Um, thank you Sour Strips for that, that helped a lot with me. I have mango in my gym bag, which I'll be eating today. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, simple sugars like that are, for me, like good for me because they help with energy during your workout. So if you see gym rats or gym people, or if you just see normal people in the gym eating like candy, stuff like that during the gym is because they burn so much calories that that helps them give them more energy. Um, and it's within that window where they can burn a ton of that sugar in that time frame instead of later when they would be sitting at home later or doing something on the couch or I don't know, whatever you do at home and you sit there and you're lazy, that's what you could be doing in the gym is eating that then and there instead of at home. So pre-workout, we're gonna be doing that. I don't know which one I wanna do, I think. I think I'm gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do this one today. So, yep, this will be the stack today, which I found. This is like what I normally do in all my vlogs. So, excuse me, God. So I do BCAs and I do the heat. This is in strawberry watermelon. And this is the BCAs strawberry mojito. And I'll do my creatine as well. So that will be, hello, there we go. I'll do that mix, goodness. I'll do that mixture. There we go. Real quick, I don't do a whole lot. that much hello there we go. i'll do that much of bcas then i'll do 
the heat. Creatine. No, honestly though, this is actually a really good fit. I'm very comfortable and this is not bad. Like if I wore this like a little, I don't know, but I don't hate it. it. I am very tired. I can already feel it. So I'm gonna hit the gym. I'm gonna go get some pre workout on the way. I already ate. I'm gonna go hit arms, shoulders first, and then I'm gonna do legs. And then I'll film the rest of it when I get back of what I'm gonna eat, because I have like a meal plan set. And then I need to fix, excuse me, my nails. And then I'll probably go to gym, grocery store, vlog that, and then fix the nail, come back, eat food, and then busy day and it's already almost two. Sick and it's four or five minutes to the gym because it's Virginia Beach and I'm all the way in Hampton, so fun. Okay. Okay, so we've, oh, these things still on, let's see. Yep. We've made it to the gym and like always, I always get like that anxiousness before I head in because I know I'm gonna record. I know everyone's gonna like, not that everyone looks at you in the gym, but like they notice like, oh, that girl's camera. Cool. And then some people like to avoid that so in the future if anyone sees this that goes to my gym um in norfolk just know like i don't i won't be mad if you're like hey can you get me out of your shot i'll be like yeah absolutely like i will move my stuff that's not a big deal um i don't mind being in people's videos but i know how it could possibly make other people feel so i don't ever want to make someone feel uncomfortable so if, if i'm ever in your way tell me to fucking move and i will move no problem because i'm bringing my equipment in there and that's public space so i totally respect that um including the bathrooms too like i don't use the bathroom here for that but it's like mirrors and stuff like that too like i just i totally get it so um the wave of tiredness is hitting me as i'm driving because it's a four or five minute drive for me so i would just like i haven't taken my pre-workout yet because i'm trying to last for two muscle groups for this whole workout so um it might hit me like halfway through arms and shoulders but i also was doing some thinking on my drive and i typically don't like to talk too much on these vlogs but i do want to just voice that i've been doing a lot of thinking about like forgiveness and about these people this year that have done me wrong and last year that i've either had bad relationships with like dated or friendships and just like letting stuff go because we're all living life for the first time and I don't want to live my life full of spite and just wasting my time hating them from afar. I just much sure I let stuff go and move on with my life. Um, I, I will always, I'll always cherish like my time with them. Those people, those friendships, those relationships, like I'll always cherish those things. But at the end of the day, like I think the, le the lesson has been learned with both parties and I've decided to let some friends go this year just because of non-consistency with effort and just a number of things like I still will be supportive but I don't want you in my inner circle anymore you know and that goes to for like relationships as well like if you don't if it's not serving me to the best of my ability to be myself and to help me be better why would I entertain it and so letting those people go has really helped me be happier it is more lonely because I like to do, I do a lot of this stuff alone. I vlog alone, I do reels alone, I go to the gym alone, I do a lot of things alone, but I haven't been this happy in a long time. And I'm very much at peace with my life. And I think that's what I've needed to do all along, which is, my mom would say like, you should listen to me. So, just know that like, it's better to forgive and move on with your life than hold on to that hate for them and you waste more energy hating them than you are actually moving on um there's a saying i saw on tiktok which is so stupid but it's like hate or what is it like bitches that hate don't move on or like happy bitches don't hate and unhappy bitches hate or something like that um and it's true like people that just hate and they're just awful they don't they're not happy and i'd much like be happy so i don't hate i just move on with my life i just whenever i see him be nice and you don't have to be mean there's no reason to be mean we're all living life for the first time forgive and let go i mean if you don't have to forgive but just let it go there's no point in holding on to something that is just hurting you it's holding you back from like 
just being a good person or not even just being a good person but just being nice like these people we're all living life for the first time we're all just trying to do our best so fuck i'm trying to do my best trying to stay awake so um yeah just let it go and i'll be okay arm and shoulders legs let's get it I didn't want to see you when you came home Cause you always try to hurt me and that's so low and When I talk to you about it, you're in defense mode Whoa, oh, 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 oh. How can we work on ourselves when you say no? Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I'll never go on like this, so don't you think you got me? sets of shoulder press and then we're going to do arm curls and then going into side lateral and then do some more curls might do the bar we'll see but for right now we're going to do four sets of shoulder press i'm going to try and do 25s we're going to see it'd be 30s today Uh, well she pulling me in like a black hole Trapped in a grip and I can't break Out of control and I can't feel My soul and my heart and my damn face Cause I ain't be nothing without her A king with no queen and no damn kingdom Serving up hate with a cold vengeance Fuck but I hate her, we can't sleep uh, Yeah, she's got me hooked, I'm down, I ride Leaving, she try to kill me I can see it in her eyes Yeah, she's got me shook, this my demise I'm bleeding, can someone heal me? I can't deal with no more lies I'll never go on like this So don't you my temper I said something foolish Did I go and ruin this When it started to feel so real Could feel it running, running Through my lonely veins When I started to heal Could see myself Loving, loving for the rest of my days mm. No, I Try 30s. <sighs> Holy Jesus. Go back to December. Look back. 
I can remember Those memories are better than gold I let you down, I know When it started to feel so real Could feel it running, running Through my lonely veins When I started to heal Could see myself Loving, loving for the rest of my days leg part next i'm gonna do leg extensions and then hack squat and then i'm gonna do probably either leg press or single leg curl and then do that with kickbacks and then we should be done with both arms and shoulders and everything else this is like the longest vlog of my life or workout of my life so we're pushing through it but i am already dragging i am so freaking tired but arms and shoulders went really well i pushed myself a lot so um, I didn't want to talk too much because I didn't want to stay in one area too long and like hold the machine for someone else. So, but now it's on the legs and then we'll do that. Super fun. Okay, so with leg extensions, I'm going to do four sets, but in four sets, I'm going to do both legs and then single leg separately. So it'll be one full session of 10 with both legs and then single leg for 10 each. But I'm going to try and do as much weight as I can going up from there. So that makes more sense. So here we go.
been exposed to like this before I'm good at shutting you out I've always had a way of keeping closed Been in hiding, I've been calling out your name from the darkness Thinking it's too late If you're finding I've been too much on your plate I'll keep hiding, calling out your name Calling out your name So as I'm over doing hack squat, you can see my face. I was going through my Instagram and I found some like really bad hate comments. I like some, some like usually like one five seven whatever, which I know doesn't matter, but like, oh like where's the muscle? Like all it is is like her body, blah blah. And I'm like DM me, I'll show you my muscle. Like, did you see any other posts but that one reel? It makes no fucking sense. Like I don't understand people. I know they just do it for attention, but at the same time it's like. Look at every other post I have. Like, cause I do one glute reel, somehow I'm just like, oh, there's no muscle on her. Go over yourself. Speeding glute, we're gonna do two exercises. We're gonna do hip thrusters and then kickbacks and then I'm done. Cause I did a lot. Um, leg extensions, hack squat, hip abductor, and then we do kickbacks. I feel like that's pretty good. Like my quads are on fire. We do some glutes and then uh, usually like I've been implicating some more like calves. So I'll do like calves like while I'm like cooking or something. I was like, it sounds dumb, but like it makes sense to me. Just kind of get the muscle group working, or like before the shower, do like 50 of them. Um, kudos to you know who for that. So, um, so yeah, let's get this done. I'm probably gonna do four sets of 15 for this, and then the same as well for kickbacks. But I already know, you guys already know my split for that. It's immediate. Calling out your name from the darkness. Thinking it's too late If you're fighting I've been too much on your plate I'll keep hiding Calling out your name Calling out your name Calling out your name Tell me how you're feeling Since you got me out in the open Now I'm ready to dive in I know you told you it would be a slow burn Beat and hide and I've been calling out your name from the darkness Thinking it's too late If you're finding I've been too much on your plate I'll keep hiding Calling out your name Calling out your name 
teacher in front of the class He says if you're not a believer I love you, is that's on you Better shape up and pay your dues I love you, is that's on you workout i'm gonna go home and what time is it oh my god what time is it i'm gonna go to the store real quick knock that out that way i can just film the vlog while it um charges and then go from there i just have to get some more bison and some stuff but nothing crazy i'm happy i'm so happy but yeah guys i will drive back up and then i will talk to you guys Later, I think this is the end of the vlog for the workout. So, just to conclude here, um, Emily, if you guys are new here, and my Instagram is mster97 um, in the description. If you'll need any more codes for that stuff, any more discounts, help you guys out, save some monies. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see anything next week and to not miss next week's vlog. Everything that needs to be updated will be on my Instagram, so if you guys want to follow me there and then just track when these next vlogs will re get released, that'd be better instead of all this other stuff but yeah i'll see you guys next week um reminder to constantly push yourself and have a great rest of the week and just you guys will make everything will be okay i promise so and this thank you for everything all right see y'all next week Bye.